should wear a face covering at all times. Practice social distancing. Wash our hands regularly. Not to enter common areas if we're experiencing symptoms of a respiratory illness, including headache, fever, and cough. Remember, we're all in this together. Now that the fact-checking keyboard commando, social media administrators, and thought police have been pacified, let's get down to business. A world government regime is being implemented right before our very eyes, using COVID as the Trojan horse. It's a scientific dictatorship being guided by the principles of eugenics operating as a PSYOP under the guise of a pandemic using medical martial law. If you want a vision of the future, imagine a boot stamping on the human face forever. George Orwell, 1984. Countless people will hate the New World Order and will die protesting against it. H.G. Wells, The New World Order, 1939. We shall have a world government, whether we like it or not. The only question is whether world government will be achieved by consent or by conquest. James Warburg, February 17, 1950. The U.S. Senate Committee on Foreign Relations. Now, if you're wondering what's next, just remember all the it's just statements. It's just a mask. It's for your safety and mine. Don't put other people's health and safety at risk because of a minor inconvenience. It's just six feet. It's just safer at home. It's not really a lockdown. Besides, it's only for a few weeks. Then everything will reopen. It's just non-essential businesses that need to close. It's just non-essential workers that need to go jobless or in a crisis. Take one for the team. Have a vacation on the state. File for unemployment. Get your COVID check and chill. It's just until this whole thing blows over. It's just bars and restaurants and gyms and salons that need to close. It's just just so that we don't overwhelm the hospitals. I mean, don't you care about our medical infrastructure? God forbid you get sick. You'll see, you silly conspiracy nuts. It's just until we flatten the curve. It's just until we can get a vaccine. I mean... My health is not my responsibility. It's the responsibility of the state to make sure I'm healthy. My job is to help them help me. It's just contact tracing. So what? You get a phone call. It's just a COVID app. I mean, don't you want to know who's the safe to be around and who's not? It's just the, the COVID vaccine certificate. Businesses need to provide a safe and secure environment for their customers and employees. It's just a vaccine. You're not one of those anti-vaxxers are you mm. and when the protest started what happened it's just a few inmates that are being released while the riots are raging throughout the united states it's just a few states that did it not all states do it it's just a few paid violent protesters it's just a few pallets of bricks being conveniently placed it's just a few off-duty police officers breaking windows of shops and destroying their own police cars it's just um, george soros and a few billionaires backing protesters i mean what's the big deal what's a billionaire to do after they tank the economy and when people start to speak up what happens they're just blocking the medical misinformation. You can't let people think for themselves. Where do you think you live, America? Stop it. They're just blocking a few doctor videos. You know, the, the quack doctors, the snake oil salesman type, those that believe in hydroxychloroquine, God, and demons, and that kind of stuff. You know, crazy talk. Get out of here. They're just blocking a few frontline workers and nurses from speaking out, you know. These guys only have time to treat COVID patients and make TikTok dance videos. We're in the middle of a crisis here. Either dance or get back to work. They're just blocking a few of these uh, these posts on social media. You know, you don't want to violate social media standards and policies, do you? This is serious business. I mean, think about the advertisers. How are they going to feel? All that rhetoric is there for what? To condition you to believe that you know standing up for your rights is a selfish act. And if they can succeed, if they can get you to believe that, then you're more likely to give up your rights for, for moral reasons rather than for social reasons. And because you're afraid, what are you going to do? Or what, what, what may you do? You'll sacrifice your freedoms on the altar of fear in the name of peace and safety. Those that would give up essential liberty to purchase a little temporary safety deserve neither liberty nor safety. Benjamin Franklin. I know. That's a little bit out of context, but you'll forgive me. Currently, you hear no mask, no entry to grocery stores, shopping malls, and public spaces. No mask, no air travel, no public transportation. No mask, no access to public buildings. No mask, no access to the workplace or schools or parks and recreation. 
unless you want to be publicly shamed, of course, for exercising your right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness and fresh air. Next, you'll see a transition from no mask to no COVID pass, no entry, no vaccine, no entry, no proof of universal vaccine certificate, no entry. This is where the rubber is going to meet the road in terms of the PSYOP, right? You know, you create a common enemy. You rally everyone around that common enemy and you control the information flow through a narrative. Call it the the mainstream media narrative. You dismiss all contrary information as a conspiracy theory. The common people will become groupthink proxy government enforcers like we see every day in interactions and In common everyday spaces like grocery stores and DMVs and simply walking down the street without wearing a mask. The people who desperately want one thing. We just want things to get back to normal. They see those that oppose the mainstream narrative as what? You're the problem now. If you would just wear your mask, we could return to normal. If you would just social distance, we could return to normal. If you would just do your part and stop being selfish. We can return to normal, even though their leaders say the exact opposite. This, if you, then we, siege mentality has been engineered to divide the people before. Over what? Race, religion, resources in the past. And now it's being used to divide people over a a false choice, a false dichotomy. Just obeying and returning to quote unquote normal or disobeying and keeping the chaos coming. As time marches forward and the stress increases, the civilian enforcers, what are they going to do? They're going to call the snitch line. They will report those with contrary views. They're going to flag accounts. They will be the fact checkers. Those that delete this video and many other videos like it. All in the name of the quote unquote greater good. For the workers in the federal, state and local governments, the police or any social media company, they're just going to say what? I was just doing my job. Or maybe I was just following the orders. It reminds me of the classic Milgram experiment where common everyday people blindly enforce the rules of the authority figures. Your peers become instruments in the hands of the state, enforcing policies the state has no real ability to force by themselves. The tools of the trade become public shame and humiliation derogatory labeling, twofer, conspiracy theorist. Snitch lines are set up to report, you know, rogue citizens to authorities, refusing to honor and respect constitutional rights. And the last step is always violence, if necessary. At best, the pandemic is a gross overreaction to a novel threat. After all, and I agree, it's better to be safe than sorry. You don't want to kill grandma. That's the state's job at the nursing homes. Middle of the road, this is quite possibly a hijack crisis to further political agendas. It would be really bad if we're dealing with a genetically modified pathogen. At worst, if all options are on the table, it has the hallmark of all of the above. Another rung in the ladder, a feather in the cap, another another step closer in lockstep, all together now to a one world totalitarian communistic endgame. As a counterthought for all the it's just statements, if you're an American, I mean, it's just the Constitution that's being violated. I mean, that's no big deal. It's just the modus operandi of the free world. And when you're familiar with this new world order agenda and what it means, maybe just maybe this could be a concerted effort to bring that long standing agenda to fruition. 